It's showtime. Welcome back, guys. Django Fett here. This is part two of the Coder series. We are now on Terrace after being after crash landing. We got a workbench in this apartment. This is like our home base right now. The workbench we can just use to upgrade the items right away. So we got one upgradable item we got from that one guy, red guy, pro prototype vibroblade. So I'm just going to put a vibration cell. And when equipping this item, it's actually a pretty big difference compared to actually using the longsword. For the longest time, I thought it was a longsword because if you look at the physical, it said 1 to 10. And if you look at the longsword, it's like 1 to 12. If you actually equip it, you'll actually see like a slot um, below. And so there's actually some upgradable items for the sword, blasters, armor. So there's different things you can assemble, even lightsabers too. So you have to use a workbench to do that. So it's also good to uh, talk to your teammates and uh, especially your comrades, you know, your party members, because to get to know them and unlock some hidden things behind them. So um, it's, it's kind of like the Mass Effect series before the Mass Effect series, you know, with the hit missions and stuff. But you get to find out key stuff with them. So Karth is actually a pretty interesting character. Many people don't, don't like him, and I understand, but he's actually a pretty interesting character once you get to know him. Um, he seems like a brash... Uh, you know, you know, dude like he is right now, but he's actually played by a really famous guy. You know, for the longest time, I thought Karth was played by Edward Burns because he looks just like him. Literally just like him for the longest time. But then I found out he's actually played by um, Raphael Sabarge, who plays as um, Scorch in the Republic Commando game. So that's pretty cool. At all, actually. I'm more used to taking action. Keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. Okay, you alien scum. Everybody get up against the wall. This is a raid. <laughs> That's how we sit deal with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. Hey, what's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? They're Republic fugitives. Attack! You just blast these guys away. Karth actually does quite a lot of range damage. He's actually really good, so he's really good to have uh, if you want to be on the uh, range, you know, range offensive. So definitely loot them. He's got quite a lot of stuff. Um, so interestingly, with Raphael Sabar, he also played as Caden Alenko in the Mass Effect trilogy. If you didn't know, it's pretty obvious. But he, yet again, it looks like Edward Burns. It looks like Edward Burns, uh, like doing like the motion capture and stuff, because it looks just like him. But it's Raphael Sabar. So I thought that was pretty funny. In this game, like, there's no consequence of actually going through people's houses. You don't get dark side points from that. So I'm just going through all these different people's, like, apartments and stuff. And I could loot them. I don't get any dark side points, so, which is great. So I could also talk to these people and tell them, hey, I, I can help you out if you want to. That's no excuse. You can't just go around barging into people's apartments. Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his trouble was a nasty scar from my vibroblade. I, I don't want to talk about it. So I since I don't have a strong enough s persuade no, skill so. you know, for charisma, I can't, you know, can't get you to then. that and help since her. Thing... So I'll have to do Just that later done. on. I, I don't want to... No, I don't think so. I... Good. I don't... 
Also, interestingly enough, the aliens all talk the same, uh, especially the Twi'leks. <laughs> I mean, do you really want to hear the alien talk through that, that the whole entire dialogue? It's pretty ridiculous, so you want to skip through it as much as possible. Like, you can skim through everything by, by, by looking at the dialogue. You can't read everything, but... You don't want to like listen to like an alien and stuff. <laughs> they aren't any good at all against a simple vibroblade. That's why the Republic has been training soldiers in hand-to-hand -hand and melee combat. So it's pretty much segregation in this area. It's all racist in terrorists, upper city safe for humans, lower city and uh, like you know below it's just aliens and stuff like that. And it's just like it's kind of messed up. So he's got quite a lot of stuff. Military suit, heavy combat suit. Military suit is really good. Vibro blade, long sword, vibro sword is probably the best one. Probably the best melee weapon to have. Um, I'm sure there's other ones out there, but just a standard melee weapon is probably the best. And the energy shield is really good. Good for against uh, ranged attack. And even some, like the Achani shield, is actually pretty good for uh, melee too, surprisingly. So, just looting through everybody's houses, because why not? Plus free loot. Also, if you didn't notice before, I'm trying to focus on the light side path. Uh, it's kind of a tradition with me whenever I play Coder. Like, I always do light side first and then do dark side, the second playthrough with dark side. So, it's kind of a tradition I, you know, hold deep to my heart. So, I've done it for like years now. Uh, it's been a while since I played Coder, actually. Like, the, you know, whole playthrough of the whole game. It's actually been like, like six, seven years, maybe longer. Man, it's been a while. I used to play, like, when it first came out, like, two to three times, like, every single year. Like, it was like a tradition for me for the longest time. It was great times, man. And this is Terrace, and, uh, it's by far my favorite world encoder by far. It just, I mean, look at the backgrounds. They look pretty good, too. Uh, just, just really, they did a fantastic job with this. Like, just the upscale and resolution it just looks fantastic and that's where we crash landed that's the pod yes what's on your mind you got it hello there i haven't seen you in my shop before Allow me to introduce myself. You looking to buy some supplies? Mostly. What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real... Uh, just so you know, the prices on the items are our final. No bargaining here. This isn't a swap meet, okay? I, no, I, only, I don't have that much money, but there is something all the way down below that I'm going to get that is really important 
later on. I mean, just for a little quest, but it's actually pretty important. She's got some good stuff, too. Fiber swords, Chani virtual brand, uh, some blasters, the double-bladed sword. That's pretty good. But this is really important, so I'm just going to get this now. It's going to be really important for another side quest later on. And this is another cantina. There's actually, let's see, two cantinas in this level, actually, in this planet, actually. Don't you just love watching the Kazakh players? All that strategy, all those credits. It's enough to make a girl get all flushed. Hi there. I haven't seen you around before. I'm off duty right now, so I'm not in uniform. My name is Sana. I'm actually a little surprised you're talking to me at all. Most of the people here on Taras can't stand us. Save the sympathetic best friend, but I don't want to fill out a bunch of paperwork on my... Back again? Didn't I make myself clear enough? Don't try to analyze me. I don't think we have much else to... I wish the off-duty Sith would stop coming in here for drinks. No hard feelings, my good man. But I can't really talk with... Surely you understand what I'm... So this is like the uh, dueling area. So you can actually we'll fight other people and ascend and get more credits and stuff. So. It's Duncan and Gurlon fighting. It's not like we're gonna miss anything good. Shh, they're about to start, so quit complaining and just watch the view screen. Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. So this is all about dueling, uh, this cantina in particular. The second cantina is all about getting the bounties, but there is a particular one you can go through um, to actually kill somebody. So I'm not gonna spoil that later. I'll spoil that. I'll get to that a little bit later. Looking to climb the ranks yet again is the ever-persistent Deadeye Duncan! So this guy is pretty bad, so he just drops his blaster, and this guy just, bang, you know, just kills him like it's nothing. And they're not dead, they're actually just becoming conscious. Don't worry, folks, he's just unconscious, as usual. Our medics will have him up and about in. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? I haven't seen you around here before. Good to see some new blood in the fight. If you're serious about this, go talk to... What are you looking at, friend? Big talk. Go speak with the... Vibroblades and blasters? And nobody ever dies. This is for the best. So I think I'm just going to do like a round or two of this. And then as I level up in the game, I will come back to this for sure. And in the other quarter, a relative... And yeah, as you can tell, like my, my guy's not good either. But he's down like it's nothing. It's over! Not but really. Are any of us surprised?
What do you want? Oh, let me guess. You beat me in the door. Gee, I wonder why. Couldn't have anything to do with being the worst duelist. Look, I admit it. You're better than me. Everyone. Is that what you wanted to hear? Slime rat. On the credits. So as you ascend, you get 100 credits even more piled on. So that's really nice. Ladies and in this corner, one of the greats, a man so tough. Even a disfiguring injury couldn't end his career. <laughs> and in the other corner. So I'm doing pretty bad since my character's like. <laughs> So you can actually just use a flash grenade and it won't kill him. Or frag grenade. Like, that's pretty crazy to me. <laughs> I just cheated right there, but still, I just wanted to show you, like, frag grenade in a duel. And it's still like, you can use a grenade and it's just like, you'll still beat the guy. Leave me alone. I'm not giving out any auto print to What? You don't recognize me? So this guy is a very particular case. You can actually find him. Uh, he can be the last duel, but you will get dark side points. So since I'm light side, I will not be doing that. And there's a reason it's going to be dark side, because you actually have to kill him. I just got bored with the game. I got no interest in using stun blast. I've seen you in the dueling ring, but you haven't impressed me. Now, if you could beat all these Good luck with that, kid. You're gonna need it. <laughs> you sure you want to get involved in this? Seems a bit pointless. So as you can see from this, like, you can see the Sith patrolling around, and uh, it looks, it, it just looks really amazing. And, you know, I keep saying this over and over again, but it, it really does. And there is this, these thugs harassing this guy, so let's see what happens. For some reason, I feel like equipping some, uh, some blades. But as you can see, look at that, 5 to 14, and then 3 to 14 for the longsword. That's huge. Davik says you missed your left. Yeah. Here, I I've got 50. Sorry, you're out of time. But I don't have that much. No. Hold on a second. Looks like we got us. So this is the part where I can be light side or dark side, where I can say like, hey, you can do what you want, but this is the first time, look at that. You got light side points because I'm defending this innocent guy. <laughs> Karth kills him like it's nothing. Thank you. I owe you my life. Though now I can't pay him back. It's not good to owe a crime. You already helped me by saving me from those... You're giving me 100 credits? Just like that? You're giving him 100 credits? Now I can pay off Davik. You've saved my life! Oh, additional light side points, which is great. Let's see what these guys have. And I'll pretty much make my money off of just looting these guys. There you go. 100 credits, I get 100 credits back from these guys alone. I mean, why, why can't you just loot their bodies, you know, old man? <laughs> oh, well. Can't you see I'm busy with my duties? I see from your appearance that you are an off-worlder. Still, you are welcome here. I'll not have it said that Selka Foran refused to help somebody. Do you require healing or medical? 
Yeah, I didn't even. I used a med med pack pretty easily. I used the med pack pretty early, so I shouldn't have done that. I didn't realize there was a medical center right there, so I could have just went to him and gotten healed right away. There's actually another healer in the Undercity where you can actually use that person as well. They'll heal you instantly. It's really important to have because that's where the rat ghouls are. I don't see how anyone could get their hands on that serum. I suppose the is there a glitch? There's like a. Please don't say that. I only okay, that was that's really weird. There's like a, Goodbye. a pillar or Good something. Health. Yeah, there's a pillar in the middle of our discussion. It's so weird. No problem. Got it. What are you doing? Don't go in. Get nothing. I uh, I guess I'd better tell you what's going on. Since the space battle overhead, people have been secretly bringing in these Republic soldiers who crash-landed on the planet. Their injuries are terrible. Most won't survive. But at least I can make their last days more comfortable. Well, for that, you have my thanks. It's good to know that at least some of these men ended up in comp- I hate to imagine what the Sith would do if they discovered these soldiers here. I'm afraid there's nothing more anyone can do for the- Zelka isn't the only one who wants to get his hands on the Rat Ghoul serum. Davik Kang. I really have to say this, but the lip sync is really pinpoint with this game. It's like, even though it's an older title, this has done it supremely well compared to like newer titles and out there. It's pretty surprising nowadays how shitty it is. And then this, this is a pretty old game. It's got some great lip sync. So there's actually three apartment sections in this planet alone. No problem. Got it. Please, please don't. Here, I've got. You mean you're not? I don't think anyone can help me. I owe Davik. I've been hiding here ever since. You'd give 200 credits. Wow, that sure was generous of you. I just hope we don't end up needing those credits. Now I can pay off Davik. used to be a nice place before the city and Karth is feeling bothered so I when those yes, moments happen you gotta talk to the character if you don't they're gonna hold it in and they're not gonna like you so it's good to talk with your character as much you know your other teammates as much as possible also he's pretty defensive about talking about his past and there's a reason for that I've been going through the battle aboard the end and he doesn't trust anybody and there's a reason for that too True. Basta is as powerful as... Mm. I guess that no Jedi... We didn't choose that battle anyway. It got forced on us. Come to think of it, it's more than a little... He was also best buddies with uh, Zane so Carrick at some point, which is pretty awesome. He's all. actually in the Coder comic series. I really love that series. and actually does a great job of connecting that series, which is, you know, Not years before party uh, the Mandalorian Wars, the uh, to the game itself. Coder game. But hell, they back. Considering your connection to, I'm probably wrong, and th I expect you're right. I've got no real reason to suspect you of anything. Look, it has nothing to do with you personally. I don't trust, and no, I'm not going to discuss them. So can we? 
All right, all right. We'll talk about it, but... Yeah, he acts like a dick early on, but he, he becomes a softie later on. Just move along. Where did you hide those Sith uniforms? Did you sell them to the Teresian underground? Stop... He offered you. He enjoyed it. You're a little too curious for your own good. I know all about Sith interrogations. This isn't going to end well. I'm getting sick of your lies, you alien scum. We've got your ugly mug and a security tape from the base. Start talking. Uh-oh. I think the commander's losing his temper. I'm glad I'm out of here. It took me an hour. Who said that? Just stay out of this if you... What was that? Did I hear you right? Time to teach the civilian. <laughs> Cards just like blast them away like nothing. Interestingly enough, you can get two uniforms. You know, you loot two guys, and you can actually get two Sith armors, which is pretty interesting. Um, I guess they fixed that at some point, but um, you can have Karth and yourself to have the Sith armor. But even if you have Sith armor or Karth has Sith armor, it still wouldn't make a difference. You can actually get through the um, level itself. And it's also interesting how people perceive you. Like, even if you wear... When you wear your Sith armor compared to just wearing, you know, a regular outfit, no people will be like, oh, scared of you as soon as you wear your Sith armor. So, just looking at this, this part. Please, don't take me for questioning. See? I don't Look at that. I swear. They're pretty scared of you right away. And you'll see that difference when you talk to other people more on, more along the lines, too. But you won't be wearing the Sith armor for too long, so there is that. It's just interesting to see how people perceive you as you become as you're wearing the Sith armor. Ooh, hey, look at this. It's the Sith. <laughs> I'm so scared! <laughs> Careful. Don't do anything stupid. We don't have no trouble. Oh, yeah! You're so, right. if you were actually wearing just combat armor, regular armor, without the Sith armor, uh, they would actually start attacking you. Or they would just, like, intimidate you, and you would be forced to attack them. And then the Sith would just, like, join in and just destroy them as well. So, that I thought that was pretty funny. But when you're a Sith armor, yeah, they're like, yeah, I don't want... Any funny business, man. So I'm just gonna save it real quick. It's really important to save because, yeah, if you lose a save file, you're kind of screwed and you need to start from the beginning before any of the other saves. So, I constantly save in this game. Yeah, and it doesn't sound too good. Just freaking explodes. God damn. I need a refund now. 
What the hell, lady? I need a refund now. Freaking exploded. Perhaps you give me something extra for all the trouble. Maybe I'll just start telling people not to shop here. You'll be ruined. I'll get, you know, dark side points if I do that. But I better get a full refund. This guy's just stirring up a blade spreads through our friends and fellow human. My name is Gorton Kolu. I am speaking of the hideous looking alien. So we have a xenophobe right here. That is why I, Gorton Kolu, have formed the Anti Alien League. The time has come for action. We cannot sit up. Which is worse, your hate mongering or your ignorance? It's kind of ironic how it's happening now with society. Xenophobia and stuff, man. It's so ironic. And look at that model in the background. Oh my god, that looks bad. That that face model. That face, oh my god. <laughs> but man, it's just fucking xenophobia, man. You are like all the rest. You oh, because you're too blind. It. Come on, we should keep moving. It's freaking kook, man. Listen to me, people. There is a so then I'll equip the Sith armor. Uh, I'm just gonna test this out, see what happens if I don't wear Sith armor. This elevator is off limits. It's obvious from the way you're dressed that you're not one of the. If you were supposed to have them, you. I'm not here to. And then I can just equip my Sith armor right in front of them and go right through. Another patrol heading down to the lower city. Eh? Well, good luck. You better watch yourself. Those gangs will take a shot at anyone, even us. Alright, so I'm going to stop it right here, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.